Hey, what's up guys? It's Owen here. This is the MGC Repulsion. It is YJ's attempt at making a cube with repelling and attracting magnets at unique positions. Today I am here to tell you about it. Is this cube more than a novelty item? Does it have potential to be someone's main? I will be answering these questions throughout the video. Let's get on to my first impressions. First off, I was surprised to see this amazing YJ cube bag. I had been told that this was not included. The first thing I noticed out of the box was how heavy this cube was, especially compared to the lighter cubes I had been using recently like the Guhang V4 and the 11M Pro. The turning on this was extremely weird. You can hear my breath of surprise. I noticed that each turn had three magnetic bumps instead of one, and that there was a very strong repelling when the cube was turned at 45 degrees. When I started turning faster, I noticed I couldn't feel the three magnetic bumps very much. The cube flowed a little bit better. Overall, my impressions out of the box were that of confusion. I didn't really know what to make of this cube. Oh, also it popped. Inside this rather dull looking box, we have this awesome YJ cube bag, which you can unzip to reveal the cube. It comes with these super interesting cards. We have the MGC repulsion card, the MGC and finally the MGC repulsion card. Inside the accessories box, we have two extra logos. We have an extra sticker set, which unfortunately are the same shades as the uh, what come on the cube, which is bad because these are pretty trash shades. We have extra springs, which are stronger. You can see that by the plus. Extra springs that are weaker. You can see that by the minus. Extra screws and nuts. Extra magnets. A YJ screwdriver. An extra core and the YJ three-part stand. Uh, the turning on this cube is very interesting. There are three magnetic bumps in every turn. You can feel one at 33 degrees, 66 degrees, and 90 degrees. This, however, does create a problem. Your fingers are having to make effort three times during a turn, which can really overwork them, and I've been experiencing some pain in my fingers from using this cube. Also, it makes some finger tricks really hard, especially ones where you don't get a lot of power, such as this finger trick, and this one. Okay, now let's look at my setup. I lubed this cube with a lot of angstrom gravitas to kind of smooth out the bumps in the tracks. I lubed it with some Traxxas 10K in the pieces to help smooth out the bumps in the pieces. And then I used Mystic and DNM, Mystic to also help kind of give it a little bit more plushy feel, and the DNM to speed it up after applying all that gravitas. And for the core, I used Traxxas 50K to get rid of the spring noise. This setup partially toned down the bumpy feeling. However, the cube still remains very bumpy and blocky. Despite the turning feeling a little bit weird when you're turning slowly, it actually flows really nicely when you're executing algorithms. However, during your solves, if there are points where you're turning more slowly, like maybe during complex cross solutions or F2L pairs, the cube will feel very bumpy and you will get lots of lockups. Alright, for some specs, this cube weighs 88 grams and is 55.5 millimeters. It is only available in black sticker. This cube can corner cut absolutely anywhere. Do you want to know why? Because there's a very strong magnetic repelling right at 45 degrees, so the layer can never be aligned at 45 degrees. It always moves towards 33 degrees and 66 degrees, which are both easy cuts for it to make. Okay, let's take a look at the piece design now. The edge is flat on one side and has this ridge design on the other. Also, the tracks have like two layers. The corner is flat on all sides and shares the double ridge track. Also, weirdly, one of the edges says 420 backwards on it. Both the edges and corners have a cap design. Inside, there are four magnets. 
these two are big these two are small i'm not exactly sure which ones are repelling and which ones are attracting but there's a magnet here which makes me think there'd be a magnet in the center but i couldn't find one the corners have the traditional three magnet design i was very surprised when i saw that the edge and the corner attract to each other i thought this cube had repelling magnets it definitely feels like it does when you're turning it here's a look inside the center caps there's just a screw and as you can see no sign of any magnets i'm not really sure what those magnets and the edge are for they look like they'd be attracting to the center but i can't find any magnets in the center maybe they're like inside the plastic okay after some thinking about this i'm pretty sure i figured out how this magnetic system works so there's a magnet in this yellow green edge that looks like it would attract to the center and there's a magnet in this red green edge that attracts to this corner when the cube is at 45 degrees this magnet is exposed the magnet from the center is directly opposite the magnet that is in here and they repel from each other and the click i'm feeling at 33 degrees and 66 degrees i'm pretty sure is this magnet in the yellow green that looks like it's attracting to the center attracting to this red green magnet that looks like it's attracting to the center they're attracting here and the different two magnets are repelling here and they're attracting here the YJMGC repulsion really reminds me of the You Shall EDM. You can just look at the cubes and see how similar they are. I haven't used the EDM in a long time, but back when it was broken in, the turning was also very similar. They both had a very blocky and bumpy feel. Also, both these cubes are only available in black. Overall, this cube is honestly pretty terrible. Even though I was able to get some really good singles, like a 5.89 and a 6.67, which you are seeing now. However, my averages were horrible on this cube. I was averaging around 12, whereas I normally average around 9. The cube's weight and its cheap and bumpy feel caused me to get lots of lockups. Will this magnet design be used in future cubes? It's hard to know for sure, but I personally don't think that it will be because of all the issues I mentioned earlier in this video. Is this cube more than just a novelty item? I was going to say definitely not, but after I got a 5.89 with 10.7 TPS, I realized that maybe someone could like this cube. But for the vast majority of people, this cube will just be a collection item. Does this cube have the potential to be someone's main? I think there might be some people who would use this as a main, but if you're looking for a new main, this is not the cube for you. Alright, that's the end of the video. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. See you next time.